Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some more protein stuff, let's put it that way. So one of my subbies kind of mentioned that, you know, they want to try protein but they're a little bit uncertain. So I decided, well, I was going to do a protein treatment. Let me show it to you, just so you know that it's not that scary, at least if you're not protein sensitive, it's not that scary. I do have a protein treatment on my channel with the She Scented Okra Reconstructor, which was my favorite protein treatment, you know, in my first three years, and I still like it, but it is a bit mild. So I decided for my year three to six, take a look at my three year anniversary video. <laughs> I decided like year three to six, I want to incorporate some stronger protein. And the only one I know of right now that really has a good kick and not too strong, is the Apple G 2 minute keratin. So if you know of another protein treatment that's pretty strong and is more natural, definitely let me know because I really hate the ingredients in this. But when it comes to getting that protein kick, I found that it gave me the best kick, so I'm kind of back to it for now. I still will use the Okra Reconstructor, but I'll probably use the Apple G every, at least every four months, and maybe use the Okra Reconstructor once in between that. So that's the plan anyway. So I decided let me come on and show you the Aqua G because this is more readily available. And you can see that nothing big happened. My curls did get a lot tighter. You can see the shrinkage is real, which I don't mind because it's like healthy. But I'm not sure if it's like the trim, the protein treatment or the deep conditioner that I used because I used this new deep conditioner that I'm also trying for the first time. But the shrinkage was real. My curls got tight. Everything was popping. I'm really glad I did it. So I wanted to come on and show you so you will see firsthand that it's okay to use and you won't be that nervous to use it if you haven't used it before. So the Apple G 2 Minute Keratin is basically just a conditioner. I'm going to show you my demo how I use it but my hair isn't completely hard or dried out or anything. It's not hard at all after the protein treatment. But considering that I just shampooed and I did a protein treatment, I always like to follow it up with a deep conditioner which you'll see. Let me start with the conditioner because I guess that's what we're all here for. So why do I love this conditioner, the protein cake? Why am I not in love with it? The ingredients read like Curly Girl Method Hell, basically, if you can see that. I mean, it has pretty much everything you don't want. It has mineral oil, it has silicones, it has petroleum <laughs> or petrolatum, it has polyquats, DMDM and EDTA, which I also use. So it's like hell in a bottle, but it's not that bad in terms of actually applying it because it doesn't dry out your hair and it does have decent slip as you'll see. So I think I can do this every four months and I think my hair overall will, be, will benefit from it. And if you're somebody, you low porosity, maybe your hair isn't chemically treated, maybe you use heat occasionally, you can definitely give this a try. You don't have to live with breakage. If you're seeing like a little bit of breakage, definitely give this a try and change your life. <laughs> you're welcome. Other than the ingredients, I do like it. Of course, I can't just mention this and not come back to it. I was super excited to try this. When I tried it, I was a little bit scared because I did it, of course, after a shampoo and protein treatment. Now, that's how I tried the original, the Afrotastic Curl Elastic, and I loved it. This is more of a weight for me, so when I just applied, it didn't wasn't instant magic like the Afrotastic, but after I let that sit for 20 minutes, it was butter. My hair was so soft and moisturized, it just felt like, whoa. So I want to try it again, not with the protein treatment, because I really want to figure out if it was the protein or if it was this that just kind of shrunk up my hair and in a good way, like just moisturized it and made it shrink up from, from moisture and health, basically. So. Before I give a final review of this, I want to try it again. I'm leaning towards preferring the Afrotastic so far. I think this may have given me more crazy butter soft hair than the Afrotastic. I have to try the Afrotastic again. But I like the Afrotastic having instant results. This one is one that you have to sit with and I'm not sure I'll always have time to do that. And even though my hair felt really soft, I want to say I feel like Afrotastic is more moisturizing, but I don't want to just say that because I'm not sure. <laughs> I have to try them both again, so I'll get back to you with a final review on this. Definitely, I think the She Scented Rich Moisture Mask is still my number one. Right now, the Afrotastic is still my number two. And I want to try this again to kind of give you a final review and let you know what I think. 
This does actually have a little bit of protein. It has some brown rice protein, although it is pretty low down. And she did say that you can use it overnight. So based on that, I don't think it's like a strong protein treatment or anything. And I do believe the Afrotastic also has some protein. So I don't think that made a difference. This is just a little bit thicker. And you know my hair, ultra low porosity, I like lighter stuff. So you'll see in the demo how thick it was, but it, it kind of is like whipped in a way. So it is kind of solid, but it also just melts easily and spreads easily. So it's not thick like Shea Moisture, but at the same time, it doesn't seem to have as much water in it as maybe the Afrotastic or the She Scented. And you know my hair likes water to make life easier for, to, for stuff to penetrate. So just a sneak peek first impression of this. It was great. Maybe not the super best for my hair, but it made me go, wow, this is amazing. And I, I love how my hair felt. Like, so confused, right? Yeah, so I'll come back to this in a future video. You did see me briefly talk about this shampoo. So I'm just going to show it to you. So I've had this for a while, as you can see, because I don't use shampoos often. And you can see it's kind of low for a shampoo, low down, I mean, almost done. I, I really like it. I might even just repurchase it because it's really done me well. The ingredients are very interesting as well. And if you can see that. The first ingredient it mentions is comfrey. Then it has like arnica. Then shea butter. Then it has like the surfactants. Then it has like magnesium sulfate and coconut oil. And some raspberry fruit extract and stuff at the end. So it is an interesting formulation. And it is a good shampoo. It doesn't strip my hair. Unless I do like what I did in this video. <laughs> Like how I use it normally with just putting a squirt into an applicator bottle of water doesn't strip my hair at all. This time I was like pouring it on my handful and like I actually raked it down my hair and everything. So that was more clarifying but it can also be mild if you just use a little bit. I didn't think I was going to repurchase this. I kept saying ah, I'm not going to repurchase this but now that I'm getting to the end of it and I haven't found a shampoo I like better, I just might get another one. Okay, so that was pretty much it in terms of talking about the products. Take a look at the demo to see how I applied it, to see that I actually survived using shampoo, I survived using Afro G. My hair, you know, is very happy today. <laughs> I start off with shampooing my hair. I have that Pinky Curly shampoo, which I plan to make my clarifying shampoo, but it sucks. So I'm back to using the beautiful curl shampoo, which I like. So here we go. <laughs> So I put way too much shampoo, I guess it foamed up extra, I don't know, my hair is thick, I don't know, thick hair problems. At least it's clarified at the end, so the, the goal here is to clarify my scalp and clarify my hair. So that's why you see me, you know, I focus on my scalp and turn into a big suds ball. <laughs> and then I work it down my strands to just make sure my strands are free of any debris because the protein is supposed to penetrate the strands. So then I rinse the shampoo and... The shampoo is actually so good at after rinsing, my hair still looks good and it's not completely frizzed out, which is saying a lot about that shampoo. Then I apply my tea treatment to my scalp. And you can see that I massage it into my scalp to really get that tea into the scalp, because that's where the tea really does the most good, affecting your follicles directly. Then without rinsing it, I apply the protein treatment on top of the tea. So you'll just see me work it in. This protein treatment is actually decent in terms of slip and moisture. It's not the best, but you know, it's not horrible. My hair isn't hard or anything after it. So I just work in a protein conditioner. Look at one of my crazy strands. After that, I let the protein treatment sit for 20 minutes. Of course, the tea is still in the scalp. I have to use two shower caps, at least with my hair being puffy. And this is the result. So my hair looks pretty good. It feels pretty good. So no complaints there. It is actually somewhat moisturized and everything. It's not a bad treatment at all. So I just rinsed that out and this is how it looks after rinsing. And now I'm going to follow up with my deep conditioner. The Sultanicals for 
this pair repair um, it has a pump and I don't understand that pump isn't very thick hair friendly so I took it out at first and just squeezed it and yes that does look like what it looks like but you can see that even though it looks really thick it really melts into my hair it is kind of a whipped consistency so it's solid or it's thick but it's not heavy so you can see it just kind of melting into my hair and this is how it looks after I work it all in I guess you've seen me work in product before just raking, smoothing, sectioning, squishing this is how my hair looks after applying the conditioner So at first I wasn't all that impressed, so it was just okay. But after I let it sit for a while, like 20 minutes, my hair felt like butter. So it was pretty amazing. So this is my yeah girl. It actually was good face. I like a deep conditioner in the end. <laughs> and that's it, that's my protein treatment. <laughs> Back to the video. Alright, so that was it. That was how I used the Afro G and that was my result. I guess this is my next day result. I use my DIY flaxseed gels. It is a little frizzy, but I'm happy with how healthy my hair feels. It is defined and frizzy. That's how my hair is defined and frizzy. But anyway, like it just feels soft and you know, I'm having a good hair week at any rate. And my, I feel much better knowing that I got a good protein treatment in there to strengthen up my strands. I know a lot of people are going to be searching Afro-G and coming up with this, so I'm glad to be able to answer your questions. If I didn't answer your question, please write it in the comment section below and I will get back to you. At least the Afro-G too many carrots and I kind of know my way around. The two-step I have never used. So, thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing my little demo. I hope you learned more about proteins and you are less scared if you were scared. Or at least you are more comfortable with the idea of using it. If you moisturize your hair, you're on point with your deep conditioning, your hair is hydrated and you're still seeing breakage and you don't know what else to do, I would suggest giving this a try. And if you recently tried it or if you try it now, definitely come back and let me know in the comments how it worked out for you. So that's it. I hope I helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>